Okay. Okay, so uh, Jeff, this is your machine. I'm Dan, and uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> now that you can see who I am and what the machine is, I'm gonna just uh, kind of walk through the process of kind of setting it up, starting it up, and all of that. Not really so much for instruction, but just basically to demonstrate to you that uh, how it's working and everything. So anyway, I got a, a few different uh, pieces of material here that I'm going to break, and you can see that happening, and I'll just kind of have, uh, We'll just kind of zoom in on the various different pieces, what they are here. Um, this is just uh, obviously just a concrete block, just a four inch thick concrete block that I'll, I'll take and I'll split it this way so that it's got an edge that's split much like the front edge is. And we'll break that a couple of times. Um, and that makes a, a pretty nice uh, broken face block. And then I've got some layered field stone here that's uh, from Montana. We, called it, we call it frontier field stone. Uh, and uh, that'll make a nice broken edge like this here. And then this here is from Oregon. It's a uh, tufted lava stone. It's basically uh, highly compressed uh, volcanic ash. It's a pretty soft stone, but uh, so it, it, uh, it bre it'll break very easily. Um, and we've actually found that uh, the softer stones were not are not quite as consistent sometimes in the way they break. Uh, sometimes if they're a material that uh, breaks wrong or something, then that's a little bit of a problem. This is a harder, this is a harder uh, field stone uh, from Oregon. It's it's just regular old uh, volcanic lava. Uh, that is a harder form of lava that we get around here, and, uh, and not something that you'd probably break something that uh, that irregular. But uh, it's what I had around, and it's a fairly hard stone, and I can break that too. So you can kind of see what happens with that. So anyway, I'll go ahead and um, start the machine up. I won't say much more. Uh, I'll just start the machine up and raise the head and then uh, break some rocks. Oh, I also wanted to point out too, these leveling jacks that are on here. Um, you probably knew about those. I'm not gonna put them on right now, but if, obviously if you were setting it up for uh, to use it for any period of time, then you would uh, put those on the back of the trailer and, and uh, level everything up. Um, so those are there, but I'm not gonna Put those on you don't need to see that but they're both there anyway i'm going to start the machine and uh, we'll be on our way this uh, just so you know this ignition there is a key in the toolbox for it but uh, we've got this uh, real secure little uh, screwdriver that starts the machine also very easily and that's what my guys ended up always using so here we go